Hey there, it's Potmos, and nice of you to join me for a new episode with our little beaver town. And let's get time rolling, and it's time for us to start building one thing that beavers build most and enjoy most, a dam. Well, I guess we have to do some unlocking as well. So let's unlock a few of these, we got some science points. Ooh, a movable. That's interesting. So we're going to build a dam right here in this area to close off the water supply here. Well, it can flow over. That's the cool thing about it. You can see it right here. It holds back the water a little bit, but it can flow over if there's too much. So we won't have an overflowing land here. But at least when we get into a drought, we are able to... Um, well, for the most part, save some water. And that's pretty interesting, I'd say. Now, what I would also like to do is get a movable dam right here. Why? Well, if we get a movable dam here and we have a drought, we can raise this. We can pump up all this water and use it. And still keep water in here, which could be very interesting. So... I think that might work, actually. Because if there's a drought, of course, we can build a dam, but all our water pumps will pump up all the water and it will still drain the water level completely. But if we can close this little patch off, it might be that we can just pump up the water that's in there and not pump up any extra water. And of course, I'm hoping, once we've built this dam, that the water level will raise a little bit so that we have some extra water in this little basin. And that should help us survive droughts. But I guess there's more to be done. I don't really see anyone using this area, so I guess we're going to um, clear this planting area. Let's get rid of it. Let's destroy this tree as well, or this whole area basically. Let's get rid of it, because I want to do some extra farming there if we can. I'm sure hoping we can. Because we want extra potatoes and extra... See, there they come. They're immediately starting to sow, so that's a good thing. Let's make sure that we get the most out of our farms. Let's get some extra carrots going. Oh, this should do the trick. Perfect. Ooh, and there's some extra room here as well. Let's use that. Really want to make sure that we have enough food. It's been stable now for a little while, so getting some extra food will be good. Now, of course, they're building this dam, and we'll have to see how the water flow will react to it. And I've been thinking we might be able to redirect the water flow a little bit. So, now that this space becomes tighter, water should be flowing faster here. Until it's completely shut off, of course, closed off, then, of course, the water won't flow anymore. But, if that works, if we can see an increase in water flow here, and I do believe you already see that, that could also work around these and around these. So, for instance, if we close off a little area right here with dams, it might just help the water flow to steer a bit and get past these a bit more, so we get more power out of it. Now that could work. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to find out. But that's what trial and error is for. Finding those things out. And I think that can be fun. Alright, there's only one forester here. And he's not really busy foresting. Perhaps we should get an extra one. Because there's a lot of trees he has to work on. Ooh, we can see right here. These aren't being surfaced that are not in the area. So, let's get rid of that. There's a lot of work to do. I think we should get an extra farm. Because right now, these aren't doing much. But I guess when they have to harvest everything, they're pretty busy. And they don't have a lot of time sowing everything. And we have plenty of workers available. So, I'm saying let's get an extra farmhouse going. Just to make sure that they... um. Well, if they can harvest quicker, faster, I don't know what's the right word, quicker or faster, then they can already sow quicker or faster, and then we get extra food. 
in the same amount of time. And that could work. Alright, do we see a water flow increase? I'd say we see the water flowing faster here, getting through here. So that actually works. So I would say... Building dams upstream to direct the water flow a little bit more. Good work. Alright, these are getting nearly done. That'll be cool. It looks like, yeah, it looks like the water level already rose. It's slower here than it is here. So, I think we already got some extra water in now. Alright, they're bringing logs. We need two more. And that'll be it. Then this whole piece will be closed off. There it is. No, he's going past. I was hoping he was bringing it. Ah, there it is. Alright, we got ourselves a dam. Now we can still see the water is overflowing, so it, the water level rose, and now it's overflowing a bit. Which is good, because this means we have extra water in here that we can really use. That's perfect. Ah, and we can see right here, they are harvesting, but they're not doing any re-sowing at this point. So I want to get extra farmers in. Let's get them straight away. So that we can... Um, probably set these to prioritize um, what do you call it? Not hard. Planting. So that while these four will be um, prioritizing the um, harvest, others will immediately start to replant stuff. Alright, so the dam is done. Now I think we need to redirect water flow. Now we have enough power here to power this machine, so that's not really an issue. We barely have enough here. So we should be redirecting the water flow a bit here, I guess. Can we do that? Well, we can try. I think we should block the water completely then, so that the flow of water will be completely redirected into this area, I guess. So I guess we'll have to do it something like this, so the water starts flowing here and not here so much. I think. I'm not sure. We'll find out. We'll just have to do some trial and error. Or maybe we need to... Could as well be that if we block off this whole area, that, that will get a good water flow going. Because now water will just bump in here and then flow that way. Could also work, but I'm not sure. So we'll find out. Ah, this farm is done. Let's prioritize planting. So these should now plant in this area. And not so much harvest. And that should help out. We'll see. And these trees are almost gone now, so we can do some extra planting in that area. Alright, let's plant some extra carrots for convenience. And then also get some extra potatoes. Well... Curious to see how well this will do, but I think we'll do fine. And they started working here. That's very good. Yeah, they can just swim towards it, so that's not an issue. Well, I'd say this number is increasing, so apparently... It's working. Now, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to wait with this one. I want to see what it does when we have these three. Does it do the trick? Does it grant us enough power already? Or do we have to do more? I think this number is up quite a bit. So it appears to be working. Here we can see. Maybe a lot is still wasted in this area. Hmm. What happens if we build one right here? And one right there. That should direct the flow even better. But we got a lot extra power, so we can use that power. And what I would like to do, we have these farms here, and there is a way to increase growth of nearby crops with a beehive, but for that we need paper. And paper is here. We already unlocked it. It needs eight 
empty power. Well, we can get that. And if we do it right here, it'll be connected to this power line, so that should work. Should we put it here? That also an option. Just like this. Oh, we'll place it right here. That'll be good. Let's get a road here. Alright. We do have the planks for it and the gears, so they should be able to build this pretty quick. Of course, after they've built this. Yeah, we're getting good amounts of power. We should have sufficient to uh, power that um, paper mill. And that should help us get more out of our crops. Really curious to see if we really can do that. Alright. Ooh, it's getting even higher. So this really works. Making sure that we um, redirect the water flow. But this looks good as well. So we can easily raise this, as you can see. And now that area is completely closed off. Of course, we're not going to do that straight away. But when the drought comes, we can do that. And they can just pump up all this water and use it. And at the same time... Ooh, let's get a few extra workers in here, since we have 16 unemployed, so we can really use them. They can make a difference. Anywhere else where we can put in workers that we're not using at the moment? No. But this is okay. Extra distribution workers that could, for instance, carry around water. Now, I'm already thinking that this was a mistake, putting this right here, because it just gives a lot of travel time to get the water there. And I wouldn't do that again. I would probably place it somewhere here alongside the um, pumps. It's not for now, but maybe we can do that another time. Or we can build an extra one, of course. I mean, if we rotate it, we could build an extra water tank right here. Or maybe even build it like this. Maybe we can get rid of the big one and we'll just build this right here. And they can bring in the water fairly quickly. So we need to destroy a bush for it. But that's okay, I guess. Oh, that could be a thing. I'm willing to try that. See if this helps. Because this should really increase the speed of which they will fill it. Could work very well. Now, I think we got a pretty big village. We're not going to get any new beavers soon because we already have 15 unemployed beavers. Which I think is quite a lot, so we will have to work on that, providing jobs for them. But also making sure that we feed and give them all a drink. Alright, we can build this right here now. That should save a lot of travel time. Is our paper mill up and running yet? Yes, it is. Perfect. So now we get paper. We can invest in a little bit of beehives. Alright, this works. So that's very good. We got a lot of power there. Maybe we can do the same here. Get a little bit of dam going so that the water flows more this way. We get extra power here. We don't really need it yet. We might need it later on. For now, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to change the flow again. Because I think we're fine for now, but maybe later on we do that. And get a maple syrup. Alright. A shrine. Ooh, we can do a shrine. We can contemplate nature. Interesting. We could also do a temple. Hmm. Decorations. Oh, it might be time for a decoration at a certain point. Would be nice. Scavenger flag. Yeah, we're not going to scavenge anything yet. Ah, the tappers shack. Employs tappers who gather sap and syrup from trees. That'll be interesting. That's probably one of the things they'll need. To, um... Maple pastries. Something like that. So it'll be cool. Need to work on bread and stuff like that as well, but we'll do that a little bit later on. But now things work out the way they do, so we're going to invest in our food industry. We need a beehive. 
you can see right here it has a quite a big area of 7x7. Seven seven. So for instance, if we go here, we can just check out... Yeah, let's destroy a resource. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3. So right here. 1, 2, 3. Should be placed right here for the most efficiency. 1, 2. All right. Right there. Let's do 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So it should be placed here then. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Right here. I don't know if that's the most efficient spot. We'll do it right here. Alright, so as soon as they blow this up, we will put beehives there. And that should really enhance the growth speed, which means crops will just grow faster. And we will be able to um, grow more in the same time. That will be excellent. Now we can see that we do a good job, I think so. This is pretty efficient. Alright, well this should help out. And increase growth speed of quite a few crops. Alright, let's do the same here. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it should be placed right here. For maximum impact. Up, oh, yeah, there. Hmm, interesting. Now, a lot of beavers are busy, so they're not really into doing this. Ah, they're bringing the stuff. Great. I really doubt it if they'll blow this up today. Let's see. Yeah, this one is done. Perfect. So, that one is working. Should have placed this one one further away. Same here. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then the next one. Alright. So these have a little overlap. I don't know if it works even faster then. I, I'm not sure. I'll right, we'll place one right there as well. Now let's see if we can get an increase in food. Because when we started we had around a thousand. We expanded our farming a little bit. It grew a little bit more. So we now have almost 1200. But we should see an even higher increase in food production then, once these are all done, although they need quite a bit of paper. We don't have that much paper yet. But we should see an increase in food, and if we do, we can actually see that it's really working, and that'll be excellent. Can't really wait to see that that happens. And once it works, we have ensured a good a supply of food. Alright, this looks good. I'd say empty this one. We won't allow any water. Because once it's emptied, we can destroy it. I want to get rid of this one. It's way too far. And perhaps we just need an extra pump. Again. Just to make sure that we really get the... Um, water supply that we need. Alright, night time. Ah, we get a drought in three days. Interesting. Well, hopefully then we can spot how good our dam works or not. Quite curious to see if it actually does work or not. I think all our gatherers or our haulers are busy hauling stuff towards this. So, ah, we can even see the bees there. Oh, that's cool. So it actually works, I guess. That's really nice. I like it. All right, they're not really emptying it. I think every now and then someone just comes by for a drink, which is okay for now. Ooh, there's a lot of haulers hauling wood, I guess. Perhaps you should get a few extra haulers again. Oh, 
Hmm. Could that work? Not 100% sure, but I think it could work if we get another hauling post. Can we build it right here? Yes, we can. Alright. Let's just build another one. We have 15 unemployed beavers anyway. Alright, we'll prioritize this building. Here, they come bringing the stuff. I guess extra haulers can be very powerful. Not really filling this one up. Hmm. It goes pretty slow. They can build it now, but it's night time. They all have to chillax, so nothing's going to happen there now. Now let's do speed 3 for a little while, just to, to get to the point where we get the drought, see if our dam works, see... Water should... This should fall dry, water should remain here, so we should get a dry spell in this area as well. Now that's not too bad, it won't take too long. Alright, we got 10 more employed. That's good, now they have a job, so now they can be happy. They're immediately starting to empty out this, I guess. Or they just took drinks. Probably one of those. Yeah, they're not really emptying it, so they're busy hauling stuff around. Which is okay. This should also increase productivity on, like, the paper mill, etc. Because there's more beavers working to ensure everything is being transported. Now, I have to say, I've already learned quite a bit on how to make a successful beaver village. We need to invent a whole new road pattern if we do a new game. I'm not going to get so many beavers next time, this quick. We have to build a dam way quicker. And of course, use the direction of the water flow a little bit more when we can. Those are things I would do differently. Alright, this one is emptied. So let's get rid of it. Let's destroy it. Bye-bye. So we have almost 600 water now. We have a completely filled irrigation tower. That's really good. So... I think we are prepared for next drought. Although you can never be sure. I think we need another water pump though. We build it right here, maybe. Not sure, we have to turn it around, of course. We can build it right here, but... Then it's still a long way away from a water tower where we can actually put the water. So maybe that's not the ideal place. Here we have no road connection, which is a problem. Could place it here. Then we'll have to get rid of this and this water thingy. Hmm. Well, is there another way that they can get into the water? Yes, there is, if we build a stairs right here. And they can still get in the water. Or, we'll just build it right here. I think this is a better spot to build in. So, yeah, let's build a little stairs there. There, they can easily get into the water. We can destroy this one. We can destroy this piece of road. We should be able to destroy this at a certain point. Let's just not allow new water in. They'll drink this. And once it's empty out, emptied out, we'll destroy it. Alright, let's empty the storage. Come on. Then we can build another pump here. I believe. Let me check. does need a road connection as well, so we need to get rid of... No, we're not going to get rid of that one. We just need to build a platform then. If we build two platforms here, we can build on it. But that'll solve a lot of issues. We can build on right here. We can already do that. 
And all we have to do then is build a road. So let's do so. Wait until this one is emptied, of course. Yeah, it's empty, so let's get rid of this. Let's build a road. This also gives us a little extra road connection right there. And it's operational. We now get extra water in. That should help us survive this drought. And I think after this drought, we'll get rid of this one, these two, and put one big one in here as well. That should fit. That should give us like 900 water to um, actually use to our benefit. So yeah, let's wait for this drought to be there. and to po Oh, it's already busy. There it is. Well, it worked. And as we can see right here, if we lower this now, then the water will flow in here again as well. It's almost over already, so all the pumps can just remain functional. Of course, if you experience a long drought, you might want to um, shut down a few pumps. Because they'll just drain all the water from this little basin. But I'm really happy it worked. We got a good supply of water here. So that's nice. Dynamite destroys the block of terrain underneath it and triggers adjacent dynamites. Would be interesting if we could get that and we could lower the uh, ground here so that we can store some extra water in there. Not sure if that's possible, but that would be cool. All right, our drought ended. I'd say our numbers of food are really climbing. We have 1,500 now, so that worked with the beehives. So I guess we can do one or two beehives here as well. Let's just get to it straight away. One, two, three, four. Place one here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Should have placed it right there. We're not going to do it. We're going to place it right here to service this area. So that works by just creating a beehive. It doesn't cost us a lot, just an extra building. And it really helps get more crops out of the same area. And... We did redirect the water flow. Of course, we don't have any power now, but as soon as the water comes back, which should be f should be flowing in from here now. Where is it? There it comes. That really helps and works. And then we'll get power back. And all our machinery will work as well. We still have 700 water, so that worked. Alright, let's empty its storage. Let's not accept new water. We'll get a big water tank here right now. Alright, let's see the water coming in. There it is. Should raise water levels. Should get things flowing here again. There we see some water flow. Yep, these start working. Output's good enough for all the industry that we have. Water flowing in this direction. There it goes. Now it starts flowing here. Yep, these start turning. Perfect. Now the basin will fill up, and there comes the water. Oh, perfect. Alright. Well, this works well. I like it. Alright, they're not really going to destroy this. I found out. So let's just do it like this, because I hate those annoying messages. Same here. They're not going to destroy these. So let's get rid of it. Yeah, that means that's no more messages. That's fine. I like it. Right, they're going to build these. Finally, we can get some paper going. Although it's night time now, so there will be no paper going. But we could have gotten some paper now. Let's hope we do quickly. And now we have a thriving little village. Cool. We do have a good amount of logs. We have planks. We have gears. We have no paper, of course. We have a few potatoes. We get a f good potato meals, which is good. Carrots. We get a lot of berries. Time to plan our next move. But that'll be for next episode. Let's get rid of this one. I'll just destroy this one. I don't really care anymore. We have plenty of water anyway. Let's place it right here. Let's build a road. 
And let's get this one filled up. Did use up all our gears. So perhaps we should get an extra gear thing going. Do we have enough power for it? Mm, nearly. Well, I think if we do this, and then destroy this road, we can build another gears workshop. That should work and help out. Create some extra gears. Perhaps we need to build a little bit of levees here to redirect the water flow. And that should give us sufficient power. Whoa, they built that quickly. No unemployed beavers in the district. Alright, so we have everyone employed. Interesting. Well, I guess that means get rid of two of these. Keep one unemployed. That's probably for the best. And it's working. Got all the power it needs. Very good. Now we get a sufficient amount of gears. We get extra water in. Everything is running smoothly. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. I'll respond to it. And then, of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.